I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BTC Prague, the biggest Bitcoin event in Europe happening June 8th through 10th. Make sure you're there to check out 60 world-class speakers, 100 plus companies in the expo site and a ton of great people all in beautiful Prague. You can expect talks from people like Michael Saylor, Stefan Levera, Alex Fetsky, Giacomo Zucco, Knus Van Holm and many more. I can't wait to attend so head over to btcprog.com and use code BTC Sessions for five percent off at checkout but fundamentally what you're doing is you have two extremes right now you have first party custody which is is the bitcoin standard that's the ideal um if you can do it you should do it uh but after years of uh talking to a number of um customers i used to run an exchange for a number of years um, it became clear that a number of people, probably the majority of people, wouldn't be um, comfortable with self-custody. And there are three reasons. One, it's too complex for many. Another was too expensive for many, when you think globally. And others are just too afraid. Like, what am I going to do with my keys? What if I forget my keys? What happens if I die? How do I deal with these situations? Um, now... The other solution, the only other solution, the default was to custody on exchange. And so we looked at this and we realized that there's something in the middle, and that is to take your existing community and use your community to come together to um, custody on the behalf of members of that community. You're, you're trusting people that you've spent your life um, and use your own sort of wisdom of your community to determine who you can trust. So you're, you're still having to trust, and this is an important thing, but you're trusting people um, who have social capital to lose by breaking your trust. They're part of a community that could be ostracized. There's still proof of punishability. So in terms of privacy, um, it can be extended in any way, but by default, all fediments provide um, an implementation of Chami and eCash, which is this um, cryptographically near perfectly private pro, um, protocol. All those transactions that happen within your community will not, no, not only not hit the base chain, but they also won't hit the Lightning Network as well. So it forms a, a level free of scaling. Now you do have to make that compromise or you have to recognize that you're trusting your community. Yeah. But uh, it's it's just very exciting once you make that, once you decide that you're willing to make that trade off. Damn.